Before I start this video, I want to talk about the books that I have made. They're called Friendship Journals. They're structured in a way to help you deepen your relationships with either friends, your spouse, or your family members. There are four different sections that are crafted in order to deepen your relationships. So if that'd be something you'd be interested in, or you know someone who might be interested in them, there is a link in the description below to purchase them. So the next video that I'm going to be talking about is the ESTJ. Uh, their function stack is extroverted thinking, introverted sensing, extroverted intuition, and introverted feeling. And so when we're talking about the loop, we have to know that it is not an inherently a bad thing, but it happens when we are under stress. And so it gives us new perspective, but what ends up happening is that we can be stuck in this loop. And if we're not able to get out, we actually become obsessed over things and we need help getting out. So for the ESTJ, one of the reasons why that they're going into their loop is because ordinary things are no longer working. And so now they're trying to look for new opportunities to kind of break open new ways in order to do things, which is not normal for them. They start becoming obsessed with all of the possibilities and they're not thinking through what works. They're just jumping into it. They're not considering if it's the right path, nor are they even seeing if this is within their capability. They also become obsessed with the approval of others because they're no longer being grounded in what they know is a good system and that works. And so they will strive to try to impress other people. But normally they don't care so much what other people think. And so when they're entering into that, that's a good sign that they are not doing so well. So a way to get you out of this loop is to regain structure and think through things that have been proven and reliable. You need to stop thinking about all the other possibilities and all the other things that you could be pursuing yourself in, but you have to go back to what you know is right and dependable. You need to reflect on the past on proven methods that you could depend on. What were the actions and the events in the past that have helped you learn and to build structure? Hold on to those lessons in the past, reflect on the goals that are most important to you, and build a way of how to achieve them. But like I said before, something in your ordinary world is shifting, and so you need to go and address that to figure out what is in your world that's not being that used to be consistent, that you could depend on, you could no longer depend on. And so you need to address it as well and figure out how to navigate that. So I hope that it was a helpful thing for you. If you're an ESTJ, I would love to hear your experiences in the comment section below to help other ESTJs. And I will end with um, just a reminder of my book, uh, the three of them. And so if you feel like this would be a way to improve your relationships with others, just to kind of open up some vulnerability, which is, is really important for us to be able to connect with others and for people to connect with you, um, I would love to have your support. It is in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know.